Donkey, breaking news. Oh my gosh. Uh, so from the OSINT defender has not been verified. Don't know how deep this intel is, but uh, Palestinian protesters are trying to disrupt air travel. So this is a balloon. It actually looks like a space capsule falling do, from the air. How do they know it's protesters? Uh, I mean, I'm just asking the question. It says pro-Palestinian and Hamas supporters at JFK uh, Airport in New York City reportedly launched a, bal a ballon, balloon earlier tonight near a runway in an attempt to halt the arrival and departure of flights. Hmm. And then all these people are mad. Like, she, she got all so let me ask well, you this dude wait so yeah. here's my my question now this is within the wheelhouse of the f-22 f-22 to go get it say. dude uh, let's launch let's launch a half a billion dollar airstrike on this balloon who's off yeah. a couple of heaters because <laughs> you know happened. you know exactly um the Viper's got a horrible track record against balloons. We've, we've already proven that. We launched like six AIM-9Xs at the one balloon. But the Raptor is doing a great job at it. So do we, where would be the nearest Raptor? Langley? Yeah. It's kind of a haul. Yeah. But yeah, you have to send the, launch the alert balloon Dude, task I, force I think, six. I think just like, I don't know, launch a C5, ram it. I mean, what's a balloon going to do to a C5? Nothing. Well, they used to have the um, the thing where you the the nose, the C one thirty in the nose, and they would use it to pick the dudes up. In uh, you mean the hook? Vietnam, yeah, like Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they used to, they wouldn't use C one thirty. Yeah, C somethings. Yeah, <clears throat> that's how they got uh, Carlos. Fun fact: our our new yeah. bo boss, his dad, did that. I tried to get him on the channel to interview him. Wait, he was the one that they yanked out of the... No, he was the one flying that developed, like that was part of the oh. special ops thing in Vietnam. Uh, yeah, cool that would fly that? today. They'd be like, oh, it's way too ORM through the roof. <laughs> we're, we're at a 69 today. We can't... <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever. Okay, well, hey, they're, they're launching balloons. Great, man. I mean, give it about 10 minutes and hopefully the, the, uh, the prevailing wind will push it out to sea and... Yeah. <laughs> Traffic two o'clock. Just just a point out, I guess. I mean, what do you? How do you? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's. I mean, honestly, it's dangerous, right? I mean, if you and I went out there and did that, we'd be arrested. Yeah, you know, there's uh, the big thing lately has been lasers. You know yeah. the the lasers, people on the ground pointing lasers at aircraft in the air. That's been the biggest like threat, especially at night because you look down, you see it. Well, anytime, but you, that's especially when you can see it and. Um, the FAA is really trying to crack down on that because that can affect your vision and cause permanent damage. Have you ever been lased? Mm, not to my knowledge. Have you? Yeah, I got lased uh, in oh. Malaysia. We were doing night casts with the Marines. I forget who I was flying with, <clears throat> but I was coming back to Butterworth. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw something in the canopy and I looked out and I literally saw the laser light. And no I kidding. Buzzed, I buzzed the dude. Because <laughs> ah, you could okay. do things like that there. Um, and yeah, and I told the tower, I was like, you know, some dude is over here with a laser. I don't know. If, you know I, I can it. say that in my other volunteer capacity, I have been, we have been called out by the FAA to go try to find somebody. Oh, really? Very hard to do. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. They were lazing in, inbound traffic. Yeah, and it's like me and dude, you 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 need a helicopter. You need a helicopter that can talk you on, because without that, you know, yeah. 